What's up, guys? It's Chris. <laughs> Warning, before attempting any plumbing repairs, make sure you shut off the main water to your home. What's up, guys? Today we're going to be replacing the Moen 1225B cartridge. Uh, the customer was complaining of a constant drip coming from their shower head. Other symptoms that this cartridge may have gone bad is it may be hard to pull out or turn either direction. Uh, you may only be noticing you're only getting hot or cold water um, or, you know, one or the other predominantly. And uh, that will indicate it's time to change the cartridge. So. Once you get the handle off, you're going to pull the escutcheon out and there's going to be a little tab, a little clip that holds this cartridge in. Um, that's what the escutcheon covers. You're going to pull that clip out and go ahead and grab onto the brass tab and try and pull the cartridge out. Um, I recommend using a pair of ice grips um, or you know, a pair of channel locks, some type of pliers you can get a real nice grip on. Or uh, buying the actual mowing. Uh, cartridge removal tool. This is the Danco cartridge removal tool and that's why I'm gonna fail here. The screw is just too short. You have to kind of uh, rig the cartridge to work with this tool, but the actual Moen branded one works really well. So I'm gonna show you a couple pictures here of the cartridge pullers that work really well and you can go ahead and buy those and they'll work for you over and over again if you're a homeowner, handyman, or plumber. Um, once you remove this cartridge, you're gonna wanna make sure that you flush the valve out. Uh, I'm telling you right now, it's really important that you flush the valve out. And see, I just was able to get the cartridge out rather easy with a pair of pliers on my second attempt. So now that this is out, what I would go do is go down, turn the water on and off to the house a couple times, and uh, that will flush this valve out. Now the new cartridge you're gonna wanna grease up really well. All the rubber O-rings and washers, grease them up really well with plumber's grease. And now that you've got your valve flushed out, you're going to set the cartridge in. And I know you're thinking, well, Chris, how do I know if it's right, if I'm putting it in upside down or not? Well, don't worry about that until after you've got it in. Um, you can adjust that once the cartridge is installed. So now your cartridge is in. You're gonna to wanna to make sure the two little wings are aligned properly so you can set that clip back down inside to hold the cartridge in place. Once that's done, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that brass little tab that the handle attaches to, there's a little notch on one side of that brass piece the handle attaches to. And that notch needs to be facing upward, facing towards the ceiling. And that's gonna make sure that the cartridge is right side up. That means hot is left and right is cold. And if you look hard here, you can actually see the cartridge for me is already set there as I'm going to slip the ring, the little, oh, I guess I gotta straighten it out a little bit more. And then I'm gonna set the little um, lock ring in. So yeah, you're going to slide that clip in. That's going to lock the cartridge in and boom, you're done, guys. So please be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, we're just a few subscribers away from 500, which I'll be give doing a giveaway at 500 subs. Thanks, guys. Take care.